Hi kids, welcome to Terry on Tuesday. You're joining me here in the middle of the night. Well, it's just uh, coming up to 1 a.m. I've just done my uh, first round of walking. Uh, for all uh, those who don't know, I've just signed up to the Samaritans um, charity walk in March, which is 310,000 steps. So I should be doing 10,000 steps a day for every day in March. Now, admittedly, I'm not fit, I'm not very active, and walking 10,000 steps a day isn't always possible. So, uh, instead of going to bed, I felt guilty and went out and just walked 2,000 steps, which is round the block twice, or round town, I should say. Um, so that's a good start. Uh, yesterday I did practically about 500 steps, which has means sitting here doing a lot of work, and not much else. I didn't even leave the house. So. Um, I've got the step counter on my phone now, which is uh, a bit better, but we're not here to talk about that. Um, by the way, <laughs> if you are here to, if you are interested at all, uh, it is a sponsored thing. I've currently raised 15 quid. Uh, so the link for my, uh, my fundraiser, which just let you know, it's all going to the Samaritans. Not, not mine. It's just a charity thing. Uh, reason I'm doing it is because Samaritans, uh, if you don't know, are... A really good sort of uh, organization for people who are at the end of their tethers and uh, as someone who's been at the end of many tethers uh, they were there for me when I needed them so I thought I'd try and give something back by doing this sponsored walk jobby uh, so uh, to the the two people who have uh, made donations to my uh, my sponsored walk thank you very much uh, and if you would like to uh, donate to that, that'd be awesome. On the other hand, uh, we're talking here about the film. Bloody students, uh, if you are uh, interested in helping out the, the film budget, um, the link is also in the description below. Uh, so, the reason I'm here, as promised, February was what I called my fabulous February fundraiser, and I was raffling off not very good picture but all of these Star Wars mini helmets and two Funkos and two bloody students t-shirts uh, for two pound a time now February is over and um, so here's the thing I was hoping it would be a lot more popular than it actually was uh, one two three four five only six people entered uh, so instead of pulling out um, the names at random and some people losing out because six people entered I'm gonna give all six of you a choice of whatever helmet or spaceship you want um, now I'm gonna do it in order of the people who who were, who were quick uh, first to thing so I just thought you know what the heck if it was loads and loads of people then I'd have to pick out names from the hat etc at random but because there's only six of you I think everyone should get a prize and um, I'll do something else with the remaining prizes, uh, but you'll get your choice, uh, providing the person in front of you didn't pick the one you wanted, if you know what I mean. So, I'm going to put a list, where am I going to put it? Here, of all the things, all the prizes here, I, I can't just bring them all out in front of you, it'll take too long. Uh, all the things here will be the prizes, and the names of the people. So the first person to enter was Mike W., Thanks, Mike. Um, you have got a choice. You've got first choice of whether you want a Bloody Students t-shirt, which I think you've already got. Um, one of the Funkos, BB-8 Funkos, two of them there. Uh, but then we've got, I think it's eight helmets and ten ships, or ten helmets and eight ships, something like that. So look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight helmets and ten ships. Pick which one you want, I'll get it to you. Okay? Um, now... The second person, you also get a choice of those, but if Mike has picked one of the ones you wanted, um, drop me a message on social media. Uh, oh, it's Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Uh, Tracy, thanks for entering. You get to pick any of the remaining helmets and ships, or Funkos, or Bloody Students t-shirt, um, as long as Mike hasn't picked your favorite. Um, so again, the list is here and uh, pick what you can and give me a couple of backups in case Mike has picked, etc. Now, unfortunately, the third person is Justin, Justin C. Uh, 
Now, I say unfortunately because if Mike and Tracy have picked the, your first two choices of prize, uh, then you're going to have to come up with a third choice. Um, but let me know, we'll work it all out. Um, the fourth person to enter was Nick, Nick A. Uh, again, thanks for entering, mate. Um, prize is here. Make your choice. Uh, if your choice is not available, I will tell you what's available in uh, in a private message or whatever. Facebook's probably the best way to do this. Uh, after that is Matt H. Uh, big up, enough respect for entering, dude. Um, again, pick one. Give me some second and third choices in case, uh, you know, the ones that you wanted were taken. Admittedly, the popular ones will probably go first and you all know the popular ones. Um, okay, so uh, well then again, maybe you've got a, maybe you've got a a, a favourite. You know, maybe you've got um, uh, you know an obscure favourite that you actually like the look of. Uh, now the sixth person is Tom E. Uh, I know you're not in the UK. Uh, I will still post. I'm still happy to ship the uh, the thing to you. Uh, you made a, a nice uh, you know a donation to the fund. Um, so again. Pick what you can. Uh, if it's not available, I'll tell you what is available, and you'll all at least you all get a prize. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be any of these toys and and Funkos. It can be a bloody student's T-shirt, um, as long as I've got the size you like. They come in white. They come in black. Uh, if you look at one of my previous Tuesday videos, you'll see a list of all the um, all the prizes that are there, and the the T-shirt sizes are available. I think I've got mostly large and extra large uh, in white and black um, so yes um, again it wasn't the massive success but it still raised about 40 quid for the film which I'm you know more than happy I've got to take the postage out of that for your prizes but uh, that's not a problem I knew that would uh, would happen anyway um, so you know thanks for making the effort and actually entering and uh, that's that's it for this week. Um, I'll just give you a little update. Um, the Bloody Students film is coming along nicely. Um, I've now locked and finished the fourth draft and I'm looking at starting the fifth draft of the script. Why? Because I think it can be better. And uh, I've got plenty of time, so I think it can be better. Um, we've had another two or three applications for actors. And as my post says on the website, bloodystudents.co.uk, uh, it's great on one hand to have some new actors to look at and consider, but it's also awful because you know that you know only one person can get that role or whatever it is, and uh, it's horrible for me to have to email people at some point and say, "Sorry, but you haven't been successful." And like I said in my in my blog post, um, it, nine times out of ten, it's not because you're not any good; it's because someone else fitted the idea that I had in my head when I wrote the character a bit closer. That's all it is. It doesn't mean you're, you're worse, you know, your quality is worse. It just means someone else was closer to that, which is not something you can prepare for. Uh, you know, no one's psychic. You can't just go, ah, that's exactly what he's thinking of. Of course, you can put your own spin on it, but I have cast a couple of the, the main characters already because I've always wanted to work with them. I know what they're capable of and they fit the character in mind, you know. Uh, it's like it's like in a Tim Burton film. Uh, you can you can be better than Johnny Depp, but if Tim Burton likes Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp's going to get the role, or Helena Bonham Carter, or Vincent Price, or whoever he likes to work with a lot. Anyway, um, so uh, there are other things uh, on the go. Um, with me and my co-producer are currently looking at different. Uh, ways of funding. As I said in my last video, I have been speaking to the Welsh Film Agency. Um, nothing uh, amazing to report, but minor progress. And um, what else? I've done, uh, as you probably saw last week, I've probably done a little bit more editing on the, the off-world uh, behind-the-scenes documentary. I managed to get a couple of hours with uh, my mate Andy, the model maker, whose birthday was last week, and we uh, we filmed an interview with him and some more stuff about the miniatures and uh, models that we use for Offworld. So that's coming along slowly. And um, yeah, um, what, hell, what else with, with, with films? Um, 
I've got two possible locations to look at uh, as alternatives for my, my main location, which is currently <laughs> priced at something quite astronomical, which I'd love to film in, but again, too expensive uh, until I get a big budget. But we'll have to see how it goes. So, yeah, um, I don't know why I'm wide awake at 1am, usually because I'm up till stupid o'clock, but I thought maybe I should get an early night. So I did my 2,000 steps, which has kind of woken me up, which is why I decided to put the PC back on and do the draw for all the figures, uh, which I thank you, etc. for that. Uh, and, right, that's it. I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I will be back next week with some info on Marvin. I've been doing a little bit of work on Marvin. You can see his head there. Uh, and obviously, you can see the head is basically completely finished. Uh, I've got to start work on the rest of the body and the arms and legs, etc. I've done a little bit of work on the arms, and hopefully by next Tuesday, you'll see what I've done. So that's all from me for this week. Uh, thank you for entering. Thank you for supporting my sponsored walk down in the description uh, bloody students also down in the description and I will uh, see you next week so take care now and bye bye then